what's going on guys uh jt with a quick another unboxing <clears throat> i said every time i got batteries i'd go ahead and do a quick unboxing on them so i could show you guys how they're packaged and also show you guys how the uh lipos are balanced when you get them so of course i got another set of the awanfi batteries but they're offering um some 7,000 milliamp adc lipo so let me get these out the bag real quick or get these out the box real quick all right, so got out the box and uh, avoided some of the uh, previous noise that you guys would have heard. So um, these come, as you guys know, they come in a pretty nice box and stuff as well. It's got their brand and stuff on there. And um, get this out always, the instructions. If you've never used LiPos, I do recommend you read the instructions. Of course, these like these are in Dutch and English and stuff. So, uh, of course, the happy, are you not happy? So, so far, I'm happy. I got these as a two-pack. Um, they were $63 with free shipping. I got them from Amazon. So that's always a good deal and price for those. And one of my concerns with this LiPo, or not so much a concern, well, some of my thoughts was since it is a higher milliamp LiPo battery, um, being 7,000 in the previous ones or 5,000, I thought it was going to be a big battery, but it's actually not. So looking at the size of this, and of course these both come with Velcro strips on them, um, I don't see a balancing cord or balancing or a balancer in here or a balance checker, but they do give you some stickers and stuff, which is always good. Um, so I'll use one of the previous ones to check these cells out. But this is the same size as the 5000, which is good because I was thinking it was going to be a huge battery. So this is the 5060C, and of course, this is the 7000. Um, ADC and you guys see that they are the same size here so it's going to be interesting to get these charged up to see out the box what they charge to and then run it again and then charge it again to see if it reaches 7,000 or more so stay tuned for videos on that but like I said one of my concerns was going to be the size of the light bulb so get that out and let me get this other one. Oh, there it is right there do -do -do -do. so they do include it so so with the two pack you're not going to get one in each package, which you shouldn't expect that, but you do get one. So um, this is the same checker that is unwrapped here. So it's good. I mentioned that before that it's great that they give you guys, especially people that don't have them. I don't I can't recall any other lipo company that gives you a lipo checker with the batteries, plus giving you straps as well. And this is these straps were good if you let's say you got the 4S lipo. Um, and you, you don't have straps big enough to put that inside your car. You can always use the straps that come with it. So to me, that's always been a plus. They're sticking with that quality um, with that. Two stickers, lipo checker. Um, and then, of course, get this one out real quick. And the strap as well. So let me go ahead and um, get this plugged up, and I'll show you um, how these cells came when I just got them. So. All right, so first one's plugged up, comes at 7.2 volts, 3.87, 3.85, 7.1, 3.86, 3.85. So it's pretty much in a storage mode right now, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the charger as well um, to get these charged up. And let's check out this second battery as well. All right, second battery, uh, cell 2, 3.85. 7.72 which is basically a storage mode charge 3.87 and 3.85 so they're basically um, in a storage mode and um, almost balanced uh, perfectly for each cell so um, I'm going to get these charged up and what I'm going to do is my first run I'm going to put this in my infraction um, these do come with Dean's connectors on there I did see a few that did offer different connectors but I didn't see it for this but um I know that before I had gotten contact with them and they are looking at adjusting or changing up their connectors on their lipos. You guys saw that on some of the previous ones I had where they did start including the EC5 connectors and stuff on there and some XT90s and XT60s. So they're a new company. Um, they've been out for a couple of years, but they are making improvements, which we love that about companies when they start listening to users and user reviews and start doing improvements on their lipos or whatever product they're offering. So they are working on you know changing this because not everybody uses Dean's I think Red Cat still uses them and maybe a few other companies as well HPI and all that but um, the majority of them especially coming from Horizon are going to use EC5 EC3 connectors of course and you got your Traxxas connectors and stuff and I believe I may have saw 
one or two packs with it but you can always get an adapter or you can go ahead and cut these and solder them off whichever one you want to do for now i'm just going to use an adapter but i'm going to get these soldered up i'm uh, I actually get these uh, i'm not going to cut these get these charged up and go ahead and test these in the infraction as well so you guys as always don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching